with with exactly that Diddy Kong and Peach. And what's so funny about this matchup here, Swiss, is that this matchup, in theory, can be like pretty explosive. Diddy Kong's like got some a lot of grounded combo starters. Peach lives off of things like down tilt and falling in air. Uh, but you end up just playing a lot of neutral because that's what's so good about all of these characters and committing just once can be a floodgate of damage. Absolutely, and player four, unfortunately, having to play around this banana as well. As you can see there, Pekka was just standing, still just waiting for them to make the first move. Yeah, holding steady, gets the back air going. Just a little bit of damage and playing out of shield is one of the best things that Peach can do in a matchup especially like this. Because while Diddy Kong, they're out of shield for to be threatening with stocks, it usually revolves around having banana in hand. Mm -hmm. While Peach, turn up in hand. It, not necessarily turn up, but also uh, back air, also nair, also just these options out of shield that can hit really low and start going really, really far. Oh, but the floaties. Not gonna be enough. High ceiling. Yeah, you're able to play around this floaty nature just a little bit with that down tilt, finding a monkey flip in order to close uh, force player four off stage. Oh, he missed the down throw spacing. That's so unfortunate. It allowed player four just to do a neutral get up in that instance and reset to neutral, where he's gonna even up this game real quick, passing the sentry, almost patching the sentry mark. There it Ooh. is. <laughs> All right, off stage. He's gonna get back though, very simple. All right. Board air on stage, peanut gun. Oh, too, oh wow, the, because Peach is so floaty, he's too high for down tilt into back air, but... Ah, oh, monkey know. flip does kill a 170. Y yeah, <laughs> most, <laughs> I would hope so, honestly, for Diddy Kong's sake. Maybe not, depends on your opinion of Diddy Kong. <laughs> he's, he's a very good character, very slept on. <laughs> uh, just a little bit. I feel like player four, though, is almost not respecting just how fast Diddy Kong can be, right? Like, you're right. seeing a lot of, like, built-up forward airs, a lot of time playing in empty space and like, getting these perfect landing back airs, these perfect landing forward airs. It's like, Diddy will just monkey flip you. He'll run up and fair you. Like, he'll stuff you out until you learn to deal with it. And that has been player four's Achilles heel this entire game. It's the monkey flip. You know, if it doesn't grab, he's going to hit. And I feel like he's got to respect it just a little more. Jump out of the way, spot dodge, something. And getting a little bit lower thanks to a uh, an almost, I think it was a little bit of an air dodge there, or at very least good DI in order to not die quite a bit. And oh, there's oh there go the combos. All not right. En not enough stage in order to get anything off of it, and that is an up close down tilt, getting the up smash after 164. The stock drops, and Pekko in a, in a pretty solid position overall, especially with Banana Recatch. Oh, did he yeah. got some combos of his own? Yeah, just a simple 41. Nothing too crazy thus far, but he's able to reset the same situation. Nothing crazy. Um, yeah, oh, man, I, he's still in the air. Well, it's like it's three it, it's three combos that you're able to reset because you get banana. Hello, Saturn. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Try and pull banana and hold shield against Aww. it. Oh, no. Never mind. You can do it again. Bye, Mr. Saturn. <laughs> we hardly knew you. Banana in hand. Fire four. Getting a chance to, to play around just a little bit. Really? Okay. Uh, I'm, I understand going for the two frame there, and you want to hold on to this ledge trap, but also you're gone. Oh, <laughs> he's gonna go see Mr. Saturn. Now check this out, right? Yeah. So, Checking. A, I want to run Rika. You know, I want to see last stock. Yes, this one right here. So what do we get here? We get there, right there. Right. So player four. This is normally like a pretty plus position for Peach. Like you're able to bounce off with the side B, sit right here, and then you get access to like full cancel stuff. You get access to so much tools. But Pekko, because you have Diddy's instant forward air, shuts down everything and shuts down Peach without a jump. Wow. And that just means you're forcing Peach. You're removing one of Peach's biggest tools, that being the float cancel mix up. But now that Peach has to land with her slow airspeed, he could just get right there and get it going. Oh okay. my god, that. Double trip on the banana. Ooh. All right, turn up in hand a little bit. Again, I really want to see player four like just consume space a little bit better. Uh, you're seeing it a lot more with back airs here, and generally on a smaller stage like Smashville, you're going to have that access to uh, better positionings more immediately. But it all comes down with like you got to play around Diddy Kong's own burst range, and these back airs are doing an excellent job of it. Yeah, he's definitely doing a lot better controlling the space. I think it's because there isn't enough room for. Uh, Pekko to really just run away as Diddy and reset the situation. Once player 4 has that combo, he's feeling comfortable. Oh, good spot dodge. 
Okay, getting rolling just a little bit, looking to set up the let drop yet again, but with backers that time, I almost want to see player four like sprinkle in nares instead, just to try and catch Pekko getting off of ledge a little bit early, like change up the timings just a little bit. Yeah, mix it up a bit. Every, every mix up's important. Don't get mixed, mix it up. <laughs> yeah, getting caught with the roll on as Pekko delays the timing of the DBZ moment sending across the stage. Both will be back just in time in that back air. Oh! Pekko trying to anti onto the platform, but player form changing up the trajectory just a little bit, and now you got a combo. Down throw, back air. Oh, it's good tech on the platform, but you know, 63, oh no. 76. <laughs> 89. It just keeps climbing here, Swiss. And a Peach with banana in hand. That's going to be a banana to Nair and a re-grab of that same exact tool. Let's see if Pekko 4 can catch a landing or just use it to land. Not quite, though. Pekko coming down. Now, Swiss, are you, like, I want to I wanna know what you're thinking right now. Pekko is slowly... Pekko is basically getting in... Put it, being put in the position that Player 4 was in last game. Now right. that your stock is taken, like, how do you stay whelmed here? How do you stay whelmed? Yeah. You know, hmm. as in, like, not overwhelmed. Oh, not overwhelmed. Uh, <laughs> I, look, this game is anything but well made. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Thanks, numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, I think, uh, well, Paco is doing a really good job bringing it back here. I think he's staying cool like Player 4 and trying to just build up that extra credit if he can. Yeah. Well, no extra credit. He's on his last stock, but still. Uh, never a well moment in this game. Yeah. Holding steady, player four throwing a couple of solid mix-ups there. Unable to really track player four on these, or Pekka on these platforms. Banana forward smash. And it's those moments like that that get really scary if you're Pekko and you have to feel like you have to go off stage so far like that. We've seen drop zone dares. We've seen big open fairs. This is Peach without a jump. Oh, All you have to do is down, forward zone no, down to No, no punish. Interesting. Uh, you know, I do think that Pekko is using his gun a lot better here. Oh, oh, uh, oh, well, you know. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a replay on that? Yeah. You know, oh, my goodness. The first, I don't think Peku could have made it back with the first. Uh, no, but it's about sending the message at that point. Yeah, it's like you get the winky face and then just a little boop. <laughs> Amazing. Of course, you know, you reap, what, you reap what you sell, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, player four gets to walk with that one in a almost a reverse kind of fashion. Like I was mentioning earlier, like with the smaller stage, with a little bit more focus on uh, instantaneous reward, he was able to consistently play around, uh, consistently play around Pekko, what Pekko was doing so well in game one, which was by uh, playing around burst ranges. By, sh by shrinking the stage, you were able to shrink the amount of space that Pekko was able to consume. Oh, we're actually going to FD. So, interesting. No platforms here, but it is a little larger than Smashville, so I think this is going to go in Peko's favor since he does like more open spaces. As you can see, running back, trying to reset the situation. The danger here is, I feel like if you're player four, you do have to watch out for, or if you're Peko, excuse me, you do have to watch out that Peach has all of her combos on this stage. Like, there's no platform to mess anything up. Like, anything like down throw bears, or uh, the the down tilt extensions, like you have full reign to go ham. But does player four got those? That's something you can test if you're Pekko. That's something you can start to, like, hey, if I don't have to worry about getting zero to 80, sure, we'll play FD. You're playing neutral with Diddy Kong and Shield. Have fun. <laughs> All right, well, so far, very even game here. I think Pekko really is just trying to size them up. Player four missing a lot of those punishes until he finally gets one. I would also like to point out, um, as Player 4 does not drop the stock there, uh, these two, um, Player 4 was upset over Jen in pools in order to make it to this position. Interesting. So looking to keep the ball rolling with a potential top eight winner's side. Got to get through Pekko and get through this neutral interaction. Down a stock here. Looking for a down tilt there instead, but misses the grab. Scouts out and the monkey here we flip go. and eats 40 for it. <laughs> Look, if Player 4 doesn't have the combos, Pekko has the combos. Yeah, it's up to, unfortunately, you don't get a chance to play your game as Peach when you reach this high percent. You have to start looking for things like dash tech. Gets a winky face, though. This could be a lot of damage if the right starter is found. Oh, oh, oh he missed he it. He he's just it. too no. <laughs> Tragic. It's okay. He's got a smiley one. All right. Is it any better? No. no. But still, it's nice. Nice to have. 
Missing yet another tech chase. This gets, gets stopped by another Diddy Kong Fair. Echo just doing an amazing job of playing the dash back game. Okay. Dash Good back spot. completely. Surrendering and not wanting to be up close and personal with Peach unless it's on his terms. And I really respect that game plan. You're, you're disciplined and you're strong in those fundamentals because you know what gets you stocks at these percents. And that's a down tilt up smash. All right. Player four on the ropes. But... As long as he plays a little bit patiently, he can get this down to last stock. For sure. Oh, wow. Peach Fair doing everything, getting another Winky Face, looking to set up another Fair for a er potential early stock, but... Oh, a little good shield poke. All right, respecting the Monkey Flip, finally, after two games. Oh, yeah. Peko didn't have a jump, but again, Player 4 pri prioritizing a lot of item play, prioritizing a lot of, like varying degrees of tools rather than uh, trying to commit into uh, like off-stage positioning. He's been very rooted towards the ground, but unfortunately Peko is willing to play that game many times over. Diddy Kong's grounded uh, speed and grounded normals are uh, quite ridiculous. Yeah, the monkey flip beating out that little butt slam. Dash attack starter missing the up air afterwards. Pfeiffer slowly but surely uh, losing ground so far. Echo in a two stock with a two stocks to one lead, he can just play what Diddy Kong does oh. best. Cut off the air with a banana toss and cut off the ground with something like a monkey flip. Alright. Gotta calm yourself down here if you're player four at this point. Like you don't have to worry so much of this percent and you Oh, hello. Flip back to the players, please. Yeah, it is, <laughs> it is high percentage. However, look, we got three minutes and a half. As long as he plays patiently, wears him down. I think Peko is a little concerned. He is seed six compared to this upset. All right. This is the full combo after. It didn't count for rage, but hey, any, any bit of starter is what you want. This damage can rack up really quickly. Regardless, double down tilt, respecting the staling. Misses Ooh. that, though, and, and a great mix up from player four on landing. All right, offstage situation. Ooh. Okay, no early stock. He, he was testing it. Aww. And the classic banana to up smash. I want to see just how close player four was to this. Because this dash attack was meant to catch that landing like precisely, right? Right. So let's... He had the right idea. Oh, absolutely. Like, we're not not saying anything less. But let me, let me wind it back. Back 10 frames, 10 frames. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. We're just gonna keep winding back. We're just gonna keep going. Okay. Keep her we'll, going. No, right there. Okay, yeah. so we'll Perfect. Play it, we'll play Ooh. it out. And watch this. The banana pole grabs it. Player four picks right. He's like, okay, Diddy Kong landing. Gonna be like right here. I can catch this with a dash attack, and neutral is reset. But as we watch it unfold, just oh. like frames. The banana caught him. Yeah, like he's playing out, but the early oh he yeah. threw it. That's what happened. Yeah, the the clean the cleanness of dash attacks and the correct decision to dash attack this landing, but the instant toss from Peko just barely beat out the big hitbox from wow. dash attack to win him the set. I bet even Peko was with the stutter between the up smash. Right. He's like, oh, I won that interaction. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it out. <laughs> yeah, do it. Like get the confirm. And the hit confirm was successful, and you know there we have it, right? Absolutely. Peko moves on to top eight. Ooh.